What's up, guys? Doofus McDooface here. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for, like, mercenary and sending guides, so I'm going to give this a little shot. I'm going to take a couple, maybe ten. Let's see how long the video is. I'm going to take these top game openers, right? And I'm, I'm going to tell you which waves I would send at just from the start of the game. I'll give you my mental game plan, and then maybe I'll cheese a little bit and take some of the... Take some of the sends that happened and make them better from my point of view. Um, of course, it is harder when you're in the game, but we'll see if my sends might be a little bit, little bit better. So, here's the number one rank opening is Slime Siren. I haven't seen this very much, but let's still take a look at it. Let's just go all the way back to wave one. You went Slime Siren and an Angler. So... Every, every one of these, I'm just going to assume that I king up, although maybe it's important that I just see what they did. Um, I, I would have king upped anyhow. Uh, I don't believe in the hole plays a lot of Fiesta, um, so I don't see the need to snail him. It's possible I could have starved him. So I'm going to go king up on one, and now you have the option, right? You can do something nasty and go all the way to wave four, right? Wave four... The Slime Siren is very bad. In addition, this Angler is probably going to become a Bounty Hunter. right? We don't know what his role is. We just know the units on the board here. If you could get a Dino into this, if you can get a Dino on Wave 4 into this, it would be exceptional. And if you can't get a Dino on Wave 4, you could even just Fiend Snail, given that you don't want to lose the income. So that would be my initial thought, right? Wave 4, I'm going into this. Depending on what he adds on Wave 4, I might go Wave 5 on the Re. I might even Re on Wave 6, right? Uh, that might be my play. I mean, this is a pretty weak open right here. Um, so let's take a look at as the game goes on. I would never do this. I don't like this. Um... I just feel like it gives it gives so much freedom, right? It's just like I, I don't I don't think you should ever king up wave two unless they have an Avenger. Okay, so assuming you sent wave one, right? You sent wave one, you sent snail, you sent king up, right? You give up so much pressure with this king up, right? So if you're trying to send better, do not king up on two unless they have a 250 gold plus unit. Not Sakura, right? If they have an Avenger, uh, if they have uh, a Pyro, right? That might be it. Those might be the only two things that I am not sending at. Uh, that I that I am ex I think it's fine to go with the King up. I guess an LOD. If you ever see somebody start an LOD, it's fine to King up. You can't leak them until Wave Four, Wave Five. Um, so it's okay to king up those things. Maybe just income king it. Uh, they're they're going to be behind on workers, right? Because if you go cash out uh, with either Pyro or Avenger, you're starting out with either two or three workers. Um, but yeah, would not ever do that king up, right? I want to force him to put the bounty hu bounty hunter up on wave four. Let's add the buzz. Now he does do the bounty hunter. It's pretty high value, but I really think that I, I'm going to get him with just a dino, right? And had you not sent that king up, a dino would have been possible. Um, yeah, that, that's that's where I would have liked from here. Seeing this, seeing my mate has that, maybe we call for a wave six, right? Because it is important to look at both builds, right? If my mate can get double DT into the POTA, I can go for like brute DT. Uh, I... Maybe there's a world where I can get double brooder on wave six. Um, wave five, I'm just not going to have enough mythium. Same as my teammate, right? Okay, and, and he did save. He actually got him on the re. This is a beautiful re. Um, Richard just fully greets it. Just fully greets it there. Um, and end a hole would have just easy held, right? The boss goes left. Bounty hunter is going to be fine. It's going to do work. Um, yeah, they did not get any king damage and the whole covered it up, but yeah, wave six right now. I'm thinking about a brute, right? I'm definitely thinking about a brute. 
uh, Lucy, uh, the person sending into in the hole, actually just pro leaked, right? Can go like nine workers or something crazy. I'm going for, I would like double brute. Um, I don't like this. Uh, yeah, he actually sells this, right? Yeah, I like, I like, I like brute DT here. Right, just based off of that, I like Brute DT. Because it's an antler, you might not get him. But at least you're putting the correct pressure on. Right, you're putting the correct pressure on. And then I'm definitely thinking a Rebrute on 7 here. And the reason is because antler's terrible value. Right, Antler's not great value on, on 7. It's a bad tank. Uh, and the Bounty Hunter is just really weak. Right, Wave 7 is where people normally might risk for the shift and getting the kingpin on eight right don't know how many stacks this is but yeah i might go for the reroute yes over valley right he's playing this chicken but it's about sending eight out of ten games it's gonna work you know uh but yeah we're starving an overbuilder here there's the kingpin see as i called right more selling holy moly this is a crazy game uh but yeah you see how Wave seven, there's a little bit of a shift here, right? There's a little bit of a shift on wave seven in order to get that kingpin. So it's possible that it might have actually leaked him 50 over just because of how terrible the value is plus the shift. Um, yeah, so that could have been good. Now that the kingpin is out, you're probably thinking wave 11, right? Uh, the problem is, is Drakir's is really strong wave 11, could have Azeria. Um, you could go wave 10 together, right? Could go wave 10 together. Uh, or you can just income 11, right? What are the king spells? You get a hero, GA. Don't know the other thing. And yeah, we had we had castle on the side of, of the senders. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about 11 income, right? I'm thinking wave 11 income. Uh, Lucy has the doppel. So we're not scared of 10. Could also be a kingpin coming. For 10 from uh, X God. Yeah, I, I like just going wave 11 in the, in the hole here. I don't like this ever, right? I, I don't like this. We just received a send. I know Lucy is super pushed. Um, but if you count value, I mean, he's already got three great units. Three great units there. You might as well just go wave 10, right? Might as well just go wave 10. They even would have resent, so we could have gone 10. We could have gone 11. Um, just end the hole is just massively overbuilding. And now it's just going to push 8 billion workers. Right? Just going to push 8 billion workers nonstop. Oh, wow. Still overbuilt. Okay. But yeah, I'm at, we could have gone wave 10. Right? Could have gone wave 10 here. Um, yeah, I think I've gone in depth on this one. This This seems like a crazy game. And the hole is not really playing normal. Kind of just want to see this one through. We have a split send into Richard here who holds. That is a crazy hold. I almost want to see that one. That one is really close. Um, I go 11 and you're going all the way to 13. Yeah, see, there's the income, right? There's the income. Uh, the send into Richard here allows him to push five workers already. Now he's at 19 workers. We would have preferred no no splits end here. Uh, yeah, end of hold, just easy holds. Easy holds. And now we're just going non-stop income. But I guess it's to allow the egg to grow. All right. After, after you go 11, you probably just want 14. Right? You probably just want wave 14. Lucy can cover the 13. Uh, X God's got the egg coming. It's just a 13 in my opinion. Or sorry, a 14 in my opinion. All right, let's just king race 14. That's what I would do from the side of Lucy and X-God. Um, yeah, I'm surprised that they just keep incoming. Because now, look, look at look at the worker difference, right? Lucy and Drakir just have... Mat they have plus, plus 20 workers, pretty much. And they can send any wave they want. Any wave they want. And see, X God was even overvalued. So if if you just skip and we just we just race at fourteen, it's just beautiful. See how weak there? I mean, into hole leaks to a Drake here on fourteen. Um, but now we're just giving so much, so much. Wow, look at Richard here. 
Holds the 200 income, sends 600 under. Wow. And now the game is just over. It doesn't matter which wave they send on. Um, as long as the sends are decent, it's going to be fine. Continually allowing them to push. Uh, but I guess it's wave 16. Do we get the... Oh, we don't have death caps. No death caps on X God. Shneko masking claws here on Lucy. Actually sold the sold the canopy for that. And the sends are just I mean it's fifteen hundred. So that is how I would send. I don't think there's any ones that can be taken that you can take a look at. Uh into whole plate. Extremely overbuilt, and then they went for a starve. Bone Crusher. This is always a good one. Always a good one to look at. The dreaded Bone Crusher. Alrighty, alrighty. So, Shea starts Bone Crusher with a Hunted Rat. And of course, his teammate is Poda, just like the game before. So, once again, Bone Crusher is pretty weak wave 4. You can re-snail wave 2. You could just send it on wave 3. Uh, it really just comes down to the value. It right, really just comes down to the value. We've got king ups across the board. Because he has the rat, I think I am going to snail in this case. I think I will snail after income. And the reasoning is because he wants to hunt that rat. Right? He does want to hunt that rat always. If he doesn't hunt the rat and you snail, it's still a break even because he, he loses out on that, what, 11, 12 mythium. So I'm going to snail here. Um, 100% snail. Right? And he, he doesn't hunt. Right? So, once again, I'm wrong. But the Mythium lost here is it's, it's, it should really punish him. It should really punish him. Um, got another rat over here. Uh, could always Dino 4, but because nobody's received sends, um, I have what? I have Gun in this situation. Um, I do have slimes. I do have slimes. If me and my teammate can call a wave four, it's actually beautiful, right? If we can call a wave four at this point, that's beautiful. That's something you gotta type in the chat. Poto is terrible on wave four. Crusher and a rat is not great wave four. So maybe we go wave four again, right? We just go income wave four. Um, we're not terrible wave three, especially because Shadow stays four workers here. And Adams is just going to have a near full cat. So yeah, let's go wave four. Let's risk it. They do not. There's a split send. Right? There's a split send here. And um, yeah, Adam's not great on wave four. So it, it could have been tasty. But now we have a great angle for a re. Right? Our teammate has not sent into the POTA. Right? Expecting probably two DTs, hopefully. Or at least... Fiend, snap, uh, something good, right? Something good. So we can go for a re here, at least a 40 re. Um, he might hunt the rat. In addition, he might just push the seven workers, right? Like, we don't know. So I'm going for the re. Only able to get a snail out here. But once again, he's not hunting the rat, right? So it's fine that we're income sending because Shay is not hunting the rat. Uh, Yep, that guy holds. The next call... I'm probably now not thinking about leaking them, right? They've done amazing stuff so far. They have the power. Now I'm thinking, when am I weak, right? There, there's there's a certain time in the game where you need to start thinking, when am I weak as opposed to when are they weak? This is how you can lose games. You think, I have to get to wave 7. They are incredibly weak. I want to send a mimic wave 7. And you're super weak wave 6. They send wave 6. You take 50% king damage. It doesn't care if you send an ogre on wave seven now. They receive so much gold because you overlooked your weak wave, right? So let's look at this as a team here. We're not great wave five, right? Not amazing wave five, but Shadow has has received a lizard. So I'm more scared of wave six. I think I'm going to income send wave six at this point, right? I'm going to call for the income send wave six. Cat, very bad, right? Uh, I can get the Bounty Hunter for Wave 5. Not that bad, but Bounty Hunter is bad 6. Gun is bad 6. Let's Income King on Wave 6. All right, we have another Trickle Snail here. Shadow is just getting a free game, but has the cover now. Right? 
has to cover this wave six. Has to cover this wave six. Um, cannot push that worker and see what happened, right? I called it on the dot, right? We're both so weak wave six and shadow has been given the gift, the gift of, of the keys to the car. Um, we just, we just really need to not push that, that extra worker and try our best to cover some of Adam's leaks, right? We probably cover one Rocco, um, but Adam's is just so weak, so weak on wave six. And we're not great on wave six either, right? Um, and for some reason, they did not go income king, right? This this is a, an opportunity to go king, right? This is a must, must, must go king, right? Like, it doesn't matter if he runs, if he runs, if he hunts both of these rats, the poda with steeds is pretty much unkillable on wave six because she, she can tank three plus a little bit more, right? In the game, she's going to tank three plus a DT, but she gets those heals, heals off so perfectly, right? Shay has the atoms, which are actually really good, right? And he's even got an atom on the butcher, right? This is good early, terrible late. So there's no need to full send here, right? No need for the full sends from either side. Those should be king ups, right? Those, all three of these snails should be king ups, in my opinion, right? And once again, I think Shadow needs to stay at seven workers, already like furiously pushed. Um, but okay, so we've taken the hit, right? We've taken the 23% hit. What is our next play? I think we're taking it long to wave nine, right? I think we take it long to wave nine, maybe shadow, right? Let's just say we're shadow because we're sending in the shade. Maybe shadow just full shifts wave seven, right? Because got the cat on the dams. I've got gun and slime siren. They just sent big. I'm going to shift, try to get Vulcan wave 8, if that's possible, right? If it's possible to get Vulcan wave 8, that would be my play, allowing us to go easy wave 9, where you get a good ogre, ogre brute into the Azuria. Um Shea is not amazing, right? He's probably got head chef, so you probably need ogre, og <sighs> ogre DT or something, something good like that. But let's see what happens. Right? All right. So we just ate the re, right? This is beautiful. We just ate the re. We're both overbuilt, pretty much, right? Double slime siren is overbuilt. We have to go wave nine or wave 10. We have so many, so many opportunities here. Just, just cannot, just cannot go here. Just can't go separately when we're already down king damage, um, in my opinion. Maybe, maybe hoping that, that Shay would hunt one of the rats here. But sending into Shea, it's not, ta I mean, he's not great. I'll admit that he's not great. But when he shows these two rangers, I know he can get Daphne's, right? And like, Rost, Rost is just not leaking here on eight with the POTUS Steed army, right? Just not leaking. Um, we got Shea very small, very small. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where, where to go from here. We now see he has the god roll with uh, with Butcher Nightmare. Just insane, right? What? A, and I think that was a reroll, right? Yeah, that was a yellow reroll. Absolutely insane. Um, would have been tough to leak on nine, but would have at least slowed him up. Would have forced him to not hunt another wave, which means he's losing Mythium, which means he's really not as many workers as it says. But we sent... <laughs> Gets the head chef, and the re is just completely eaten up, leaking just a touch to the uh, to the resend. Now we're in massive trouble, right? We're in massive trouble, and even the ogre the ogre brute that I called doesn't actually leak uh, Ross. Um, doesn't leak him, but I think we're still sending on the right way. Just like I think it still would have been the right way to, uh, to send Shay on. Shay would not have been able to hunt these two rats. Would have been mega overvalue and be losing out on Mythium production. Uh, but they both hold. Now we need to think when are we screwed, which is pretty clear, right? This is wave nine, wave 10, we're not scared, right? We have, we've just received income sends.
We have the ability to get the Kingpin. We have the ability to get Vulcan. There's only one wave we're scared of. That's wave 11, right? So I'm calling for Income King wave 11, and then probably Income King wave 13. That would be my thought. No need to re into either of them. Please don't do it. Good, good, good. Right? And I'm just going to go for Income King here. No. Okay, so we're going all the way to wave 13. Everybody's perfectly happy with the wave 13. On the bright side, Shadow guessed correctly and did not upgrade the gun. Right? Did not upgrade the gun. They're never going to 12 us, right? Because we have Kingpin with Butcher. We have the possibility of gun with lots of natural tanks. It's the easiest wave 13 ever. Income King wave 13. Shay and Rost have so much Mythium saved. I just, I just don't understand this, right? This is a bit upsetting, right? I was going to be teaching. I feel like I'm more flaming. Um, yeah, they're just they're just gods here, right? Like, and Azeria is actually like outstanding on wave twelve if it tanks enough. I mean, he's he's got he's got the god the god doppel here, man. He's got the god doppel. Um, game the game's over. The game is over. I mean, we're we're about to get hit so hard on wave thirteen, and the reason this is bad, even if we'd gotten let's say twenty percent king damage, how weak we are on wave thirteen with a kingpin, with a gun, right? Is is nowhere near as as weak as they are on wave twelve. Like they're just not weak on wave twelve. It's it's just it. We're just not weak wave twelve. I assume that the game ends next. No. Oh wow. All right. Pull the Phoenix out of out of thin air. Now they've got options. Values are looking pretty scary. I mean, I, I'm just calling for an income king here. Like they could just kill us on wave 15. But if we save our Mythium and they send 14, we're also dead. Um, this game's just over. Yeah. This, the game ended on wave 12, right? You just can't send into the god doppel on wave 12 here, right? After you skip wave 11, don't income king, right? After we don't income king wave 11, we need to know that it's wave 13, income king wave 13. Hmm. These top games are... Tough to tough to look at. All right, we have Elite Archer here on the side of X God. All right, so we've got Elite Archer and a Guard. Oh, this feels just like a straight Income King angle, right? This feels like an opportunity, just Income King, probably sending Wave Five or Six, right? This is just not leaking Wave One, Wave Two, Wave Three. Probably not even wave four. Um, it's just not leaking, right? So given that we king up here, I, I'm I might even I might even king up. I probably shouldn't king up on wave two, but I might. Depending on how much mythium I have, I might king up wave two. Um, yeah, this 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 is a tough one. I mean, this this is overbuilt pretty much, it's, but it's a good build. Um, yeah, so let's, what am I thinking? If I'm in the game, and it's Quacker that's sending in 2x God, I've got Tempest. I know Richard has Bone Crusher. I guess I'm just going to send him on wave 3 and wave 5. All right, let's just go probably two snails on wave 3 plus the king up, because I don't think I'm going to leak him. Right, so I'm just going to go income king wave 3, and then depending on what he adds, I might go for a real wave 5. Right, not looking at his roll because that, we don't know that. Right, they go for the free read. This is just, man, some crazy things are happening. Right, crazy things. So in this, in this situation, a snail king up would be fine, right? I thought about doing the king up, right? So now you're just trying to income king into it, which is perfectly fine. But this second snail is just not good. 
Because as you can see, didn't build anything, held it, right? So now X God is going to push to six workers and add another gargoyle. Oh, he adds two gargoyles. Um, but once again, it's six workers, right? Six workers. We've given him another worker, right? If he felt like it, right? Could have gone another worker. Uh, but I guess it was a long wave. And I want wave five. I just, I just, I'm just crazy. I'm just feeding X God, giving him the freest game ever here with these snails. I would send him wave five at this point. Uh, just income king. This is this is getting out of hand. Got the mud men. We finally skipped a wave. They're not amazing on wave six. Wow, X got a super overbuilt. Um, based on what I see, wave five. I also know that I'm garbage on wave five. My team, or sorry, on wave six. My teammate is also garbage on wave six. We we either go income king or we go for a real send. I think if we're counting value, we're going to go for the income king because we see that a full mudman has been added, right? A full mudman has been added on wave five. Sort of cheating because we know X got a super overbuilt. We go income king. Hopefully we're able to get a canopy and not leak on wave six, right? It's actually saved his myth. Okay, wow. Quacker saved his mythium here. But the problem is, when is he weak? When is X God weak here? We're starving an overbuilder. I guess we are uh, sort of helping Drakir in this uh, situation. Right? Drakir is able to, to push probably to 10 workers, right? Yep, 10 workers there. Now we're just going for the full starve here on X God, right? I guess we're going for the wave eight. I guess we're going wave eight income, right? Let's please go income because we know he can go Trinity. Like there's so, so many goodies that, that X God can do here. Um, now shadow is very weak. So there's a possibility you throw the safety mole in there. Safety mole, safety mole dinos, safety mole snails. Um, if we are sending real into shadow, which you could get shadow just with fiends, right? If if we're not real sending shadow, I'm going income king. If Richard is real sending shadow, I will add a safety mole in there, right? He just went fiends plus king up, so rightfully so. I love this. I love the income king here. This is a great play. We're in a great situation, right? Great situation. Now, we can't leak X God. For a long time, right? X God has so much value. I mean, we know, right? We know he has seven workers. X God cannot be leaked on wave 10, can't be leaked on wave 9. But, 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 our teammate is probably going to send Shadow on wave 10, right? And our teammate's not amazing on wave 10, right? Richard is not amazing on wave 10 here. So I think I might go Income King, Wave 10, given that we're sending Shadow on Wave 10, who is completely terrible. Yes, I know X God is great on Wave 10, but because we're sending with our teammate, that would be my call to go probably Dino Dino King up. All right, we do go full here. Going full actually got a little bit of King damage. This is great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about our situation. Looking at both builds, we probably just want the wave 13, and that's all there is to it. Take a look at king spells, PTA, PTA, hero, okay? Yeah, let's just go wave 13 here and uh, see what happens, all right? We had a little bit of a harder push from Quacker and, and Richard. Oh, they tried the PTA 11. I, I just, I, one thing that I learned in high elo is the later the game goes on, resending after receiving a send is almost completely throwing the game. In this situation, they did get them decently, right? They got them a little bit. But this GK was after income, right? This GK is after income from Richard, so he loses at least. 
30, 30, 40 income. I mean, you lose 30 to 40 gold there. Um, so that's rough. I mean, x -God is just not that bad. Like, even without f building, he's just not that bad here. And now we're probably going to lose wave 14. Um, yeah. We can try to hit them on wave 13. We can try, but we are screwed. Right? We are just completely screwed here. We show the Hades. Right? We're showing the Hades. So I guess they're just going to 14, and maybe that's what happens, right? We have a lot of good units. How under are we? 125, 435. I think, I think we have to send because of how far... Sorry. Because of how far Richard is under. I think you have to income king here and pray we live. Right? We die. And I, th I think normally I can see what happened. We have the Hades... We have the arc. We're expecting it to be a wave 14. We're expecting it to be a wave 14. But you do have to look. What is Richard's value, right? What is my teammate's value? How far under is he? Holy crap, he's 435 under. That means the person sending me has full pushed and is going to destroy me, right? So that's what needs to happen here. Uh, recognizing that we're completely screwed, right? Because that number is going to go 500, 600, right? It only goes higher. Recommended values don't go lower when you don't send, right? So that would have been an income king. Income king play would have lived for sure. I mean, there's no four eyes. We even, oh, yeah, they even built for 14 here with the canopy, with the bunk and the, oh, and the fire, fire alleys. But that's just recognition, right? We seeing how far under we could have gone for at least some king ups here. No king ups, uh, just accepting death. All right, let's go for one more. I think this is this might be a new series where I just talk about how I would have played top games instead of mercenary stuff. Hopefully, you guys like it. Uh, it's actually quite interesting. I'm just third personing other people's games. All right. We're sending into the pyro here. This is easy, right? You've got two options. You just income king them, giving them a free game, or you send them on wave four, right? And then four, six, seven, or eight, depending on what the, the teammate has, right? So in this situation, right, who am I? Right, I think I'm quacker, right? Yeah, I'm a quacker sending into X God. So I've got Poda, so I'm also weak on wave four. But I get the king up here. I can go seven workers. Yeah, so I'm going to send a double DT, right? I'm sending double DT on wave, wave four, right? Pretty easily, right? Maybe I even get a, a, a snail out. Yep, and that's what we're doing. Only able to get 60. Interesting. Only able to get 60 out. And this is very bad positioning. Right? This is not good positioning. Which is crazy to say that about X-God. You know, this, this is one I have to test. This is one I have to test. Because I just called out X-Gods for positioning. Um, I do not think that that pyro tanks at all. Right? You need that pyro to tank some. Especially if you just got double DT'd. Oh, what the heck? I'm 2.6 weird to see that badge yeah i th i think maybe quacker was just off on the mythium but he pushed us six workers there he pushed us six so i'd assume that he's got the 80 welcome right. to nova like there's no way in hell that this this consort and pyro ever split tank I will admit if I'm wrong, but there's no way this split tanks. Right? No split tank. So had I gotten double DT'd, I'm just screwed. Right? I'm telling you right now, if this is double DT, X God leaks everything. I'm I'm I just I'm all in. I am all in. I, I, w I wish you could see the, the Mythium in-game. 
But if this is the double DT that I called earlier, because there's no proper split, I'm almost guaranteed that this leaks massively. I know the seedling does a lot of damage. So I guess the seedling just does a lot of damage there, right? The seedling is the game changer. But because of no split, you could have leaked them, even baby, right? You could have leaked them at least a little bit. And not everybody's going to add that T1, right? They might greed. They might greed it. Right? So you can do one of one of other, right? That one tanks, the pyro tanks a little bit. This one, pyro tanks a lot. Um, it just depends how big of a send you're getting. I like to push it to the limit. Because uh, you really want to use that massive health pool. Right? You want to use that massive health pool. Especially since Consort is really good here. Right? Right? And once again, you could have had it higher up. I also didn't have the Seedling here. Seedling did, what, 150 damage before. Would have done more damage. Uh, more damage because of the split tank. Um, but that's just, that's just crazy. That's crazy that X-God didn't. Didn't have the Pyro split tanking there. But let's get back to the game. If you're enjoying this video, give it a like. <laughs> God, I hate myself. Top games. So we're at wave four. This is what's been added. Um, oh, my mate got just destroyed here. My mate got destroyed on wave four. That sucks. Even with me starving... Even with me starving X God, my mate got destroyed. That is very unfortunate. Um, yeah. So let's take a look here. We've got Pyro. We've got Windhawk Tempest. Right? I think I'm going to go six into wave eight. Right? X God is terrible wave eight. And honestly, Shadow's not too good wave eight either. Right? Much better wave seven. Kinda goodish wave set, not really good. Good wave seven. But yeah, I'm gonna test them wave six, and then I'm gonna go wave eight. The only downside to that, I I do have to be. You do have to think this through. By going wave six, Quacker, right? Me, who's sending in X God, is not amazing on wave seven, right? Because I have Poda, I have. Maybe I get a bunk at some point. Maybe I shift for the bunk during wave six. Maybe they give me enough gold off of a leak. Um, I'm not great wave seven. My teammate is great wave seven, right? So it's probably a, I cover wave six. He covers wave seven thing. But yeah, I'm going six into eight at this point. All right? Perfect. I go wave six. This is good. Uh, my mate did not go. Mate did not go here on, um, on wave six into his guy. We probably could have gotten some king damage. Could be a little, little discrepancy between us. Um, now they did get Quacker Baby here, but this is perfectly fine, right? The pressure for Wave Seven is completely taken off. And once again, let's—are we just going for the big Wave Eight? We going for that massive Wave Eight? Oh man, just can't can't send this DT. Can cannot send this DT here. It's got to be both of us going Wave Eight, right? Gotta be both of us going wave eight. Yeah. And Quacker still has no damage for wave seven. This is not a terrible leak because it would have allowed us to send a massive wave eight, right? Our teammate is clearly sending into shadow on, on wave wave eight. And if we get a safety mole or even a hermit, like we can really have sex with this dude, right? Especially when he adds the cage of pain. He adds that cage of pain and I get a safety mall wave eight, this dude's bamboozled. And look, we would have had enough, we would have had enough Mythium for a safety mall. Would have had enough Mythium for a safety mall. Man, look at this hold by Shadow. But Drakir held Shadow at five workers for so long. Quacker should have just taken off, not using the star from his teammate. Bit unfortunate. But from here, 
I ha I I have to go wave ten in my guy. I, I have to go wave ten into X God. He has no tanks for wave ten. The snail. Right? I don't I just don't understand the snail. Like I what was the snail for? I don't know. I don't understand it. I've all these rats that Quacker's not hunting is just nuts. Nuts. I mean it's just so much mythium lost. Alright, we've got Shadow hunting four. We've got Quacker not hunting three. Yes, he does get ascend. But you almost have to hunt one, right? Like you've got flower, you've got a good poda. Gotta hunt one of them, right? Whew. The dog needs to go outside. Man, this, these games are upsetting me. This will be my last one. I'm going to finish this game. And, uh, yeah. We do send on wave 10. I do like the safety mole. I think I would just go snails instead for the Daphne, right? Because we saw the da Oh, we saw two Daphnes before, right? We don't know that he's going to add a boar. So I'm just going to go... I'm going to go mole. Mole snails. Or, if we didn't send the snail here, mole dino, right? Mole dino would be absolutely beautiful. Or even mole four snails, perfectly fine. Quacker, once again, just getting a free game here. Getting free bead. Should go Azeria and full hunt wave 11. Right? Full hunt wave 11. We do not. And now it's just wave 13, right? It's just wave 13. Get the death cap wave 12, right? Just in case they ever come wave 12. Because they've, they've been saving on Richard for a while here. Please get the death cap. Maybe up my split with one little looter. I mean, there's just so many things. I just want wave 13, right? Cover wave 12. Go wave 13. They're dead. Please no send. Please no send. Yes. All right, we've got the big wave 13 coming here. Big wave 13 coming. You know what? I'm going to make you wait. I'm going to let my dog out. All right. So let's just think how much Mythium do we have? Right. I guess I could cheat here. I'm, I'm going to physically cheat. I'm putting my hand over this. No, no, because you, you guys want to know. Okay, so wave 13, I want a Seed Dram. I want a Seed Dram, a Safety Mole, a Hermit. Those things would all be perfect, right? If I could get all of those things, that would be fantastic. Um, but I think I probably only get the Seed Dram, right? I last sent wave 10. I've definitely got Seed Dram. Maybe I've got Hermit too. But yeah, I want I would love Seed Dram, maybe Safety Mole after income. I mean it's it's just it feels it feels right to me. What are the spells? Counterattack, but we didn't take that. It it just has to be. Has to be. <sighs> we didn't have the Mythium to get anything good. Wow, look at Shadow here. That's crazy. And it looks like they just forfeited. I guess how did Quacker's Poda die here? Because you need you need something little. You need something. Little. She cannot tank on. She can't take take three on. She cannot take three on. You needed a little looter somewhere to save her. Right. Needed a little looter there to save her, or to to completely up the split with the looter there. Oof. You know what? Let's take a look at it. This will be my final thing. Let's test my weekly challenge with the Azeria. It's a ogre safety brute brute. And I just took allowance. Yep. Ogre safety brute brute. Leaking wave 13 with Azeria is one of the most degrading things in the world. It makes me sad. But yeah, if I could have gotten a siege ram into that. Even with them overbuilt, I really do like the odds. Welcome to Nova. And a lot of that just comes down to Quacker was never hunting these rats, right? Never hunting these rats. So we have option number one, go for a crazy looking split. 
Right. Where are the rats? Go for some crazy looking splittage here. But then there's a world where the Azuria doesn't tank at all, right? I haven't tested this. She might tank one or two. If she tanks two, it's perfect. A lot of this is RNG though. Right. Right. And it, oh, so that's what went wrong. Oh my goodness. That's what's good. So his Leviathans are way too, way too close up. Way, oh no. His Leviathans are way too close to his area. Oh no. So it's just unholdable with this position then, correct? Alright, so we got 600. 300, yep. 100, 200. The 200 plus 300 is 500, right? So that is going to tank, right? Do we ever just kill it? If we kill the front one, is that enough? Are we still screwed? Are we still screwed? I guess maybe this works so that she doesn't completely die. If they pull off a little bit of it. And then let's just go for more more looters over here. On the right side. That was Nomad. Alright, because we had 90 gold. We're going to use our 90 gold. I am 500 over here. Just need to tank some of this. Alright, so... That would have sucked. Yeah, there's just so many Tempests. And I guess maybe it's just too big of a send. Oh, man. Let's let's actually first take a look at what happened in game. What happened in game without me touching anything? Does the Azuria tank? Azuria does not tank at all. all right, non-tanking Azuria is the worst case scenario, right? Even her tanking something is better than nothing. Right. Even her tanking something is better than nothing. So let's try one more time. We've got the 90 gold here. Do I, I think we still had the gargoyles too. Gargoyles might even be a little bit better. Go so gargoyle right there. Right. Gargoyle right there. Another garg. And a looter. Checkmate, this is holding. All right, hopefully this should pull two to the left. It pulls one, but the Azuria tanks, right? The Azuria tanks, so this is base ca best case scenario. Right, you'd love her to tank two, but two is pretty much impossible. Sadly, we don't know how much he leaked because they just forfeited. But yeah, just so much value in the planes. I guess it's just impossible. How big of a send it is. So much invested in looters that were never hunted. All right, one more try here. All right, one more try. Sell this. How about a downward guard? Can that ever pull two over there? Can we ever pull two to the left? Welcome to Nova. We can pull two to the left. This is godly. No. Yeah, this the value of these Leviathans is just so bad. Right, look look at their damage. Hmm. Mm -mm. Not looking good, guys. I think 
I think we might have encountered something. That's not the best. So, in game, this did not tank at all. So, you can never have this. That is always bad, right? We know that. So, the Azeria needs to not die, but tank too. Welcome to Nova. Hopefully, that's well within the circle. Very close. Tanks one, and then she's going to tank two as well. Oh, this is beautiful. This is best case scenario. If this doesn't get it done, nothing will. Right? Just needs to get one more heal off. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is your weekly challenge. This is the best case. Yeah, so there's a there's a world where I just leak two of the creeps. I don't know what happens on Richard's side. But yeah, that's best case scenario. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, this was supposed to be a mercenary sending video. Instead, it turned into me taking a look at the, uh, the top games and trying to send better into the winners. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. If it sucked, also let me know. Because I suck. I'm Doofus McDooface. Take it easy.